It is the morning hours on Saturday, July 13th, 2013, and Typhoon Sulik slammed northeastern Taiwan during the overnight hours here, bringing some 200 to 250 kilometer per hour winds towards the northeastern portions of the island. This footage coming out of northeastern Taiwan, you can see uh, just the raw power behind the storm system at this time. One casualty has been reported out of the area. Please do click the link down below if you want to see more of this storm footage coming from uh, James Reynolds who did travel there ahead of this storm. Now taking a look at radar, our worst fears are still being realized here with the center of circulation just on the northwestern coast, but uh, we've been talking about this the last few days. It's going to be continuing to pick up that moisture out of the Taiwan Straits here, push it down there towards the south and towards the east, hit the mountains. Those mountains are going to squeeze out this moisture like a sponge, and we are seeing these tremendous amount of rain totals across Taiwan. Flooding is going to be a major threat. And with this loop over the past six hours, shooting this at about 0800 Taiwan standard time. So this is really right when the rains have really started to come down here. The storm system moved over land in Yilan County here. Then over Taipei, you can see not a lot of rainfall down here towards the south and towards the east. It's because we have this storm track right here. Remember, this has that counterclockwise rotation. So those winds wrap around, they push on shore off here towards the north, it hits the mountains, that stops it, and this is where we are seeing those heaviest rain totals at this time, and it is continuing to add up, and that is the main threat with this storm system right now. And that would be the heavy rains coming out of it, but it also is still going to be packing quite a punch as far as the winds. Uh, right now, actually, the intensity in the storms, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, at 75, gusting up to 105 knots, pressure at 960 HPA, so they only actually... Uh, I, uh, think it dropped about 5 to 10 HPA as it moved over land here in Taiwan. It's so close to the coast here that it is continuing to gather the moisture and maintain some intensity. So Fuzhou and much of Fujian province will bear the brunt of this storm system after it comes ashore, gaining some intensity as well as it moves through the Taiwan Strait and slamming right into the city. This is a low-lying area here. And, well, uh, this is going to be back in quite a punch as far as a storm surge going through the overnight hours. I just do hope that everybody here in the Fuzhou area has made the proper preparations ahead of this storm system as it does continue to maintain its intensity and it's going to be moving on shore. Now, the good news, at least at this time, it is moving just well, north of the main um, main portions of the city here, but some of the outer suburbs right near the coastal areas off there towards the northeast. Uh, that's really where we're going to be seeing this. Still having a heavy rain as well come ashore here into northeastern Taiwan. This is really going to be testing the infrastructure here once this does make landfall during the afternoon the evening hours. So with that said, everybody, uh, please stay safe out there. Thank you for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. We're going to continue to keep you updated. Once again, please check the the link down below uh, for Typhoon Fury. You also can find follow him on Twitter. Uh, the storm footage coming out of northeastern Taiwan. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at westernpacificweather.com. We're continuing to stream new and more information uh, continuously here on the uh, webpage. So thanks for watching though, and stay safe out there. Bye.